Good morning guys my name is Tamanna I am from India I gave my interview for Birmingham City University on 25th November today I got mail that I cleared that interview I recommend all you to watch mock interviews on JK Civil Engineer YouTube channel it is highly beneficial for me also it was very similar to my interview that I gave mock interview to the university interview it was quite similar and all the questions you should listen carefully and also the feedback given by JK Civil Engineer YouTube channel was excellent as I focus more on that feedback and i and i found that all this is useful for me and i want to recommend all you that it will also be a student visa application you have to go through pre cas cas and immigration interviews i'm providing the more cas interviews to help you crack all the interviews along the way i started this service free to help students like yourself but unfortunately the human nature doesn't accept the free stuff without abusing the system these interviews are not exceptional if you want to be part of these mock interviews click join next to the subscribe button on any of my youtube video you will receive a personalized meeting invite and potential questionnaire to prepare beforehand let's enjoy the recording hello preet for joining in uh, so my first question is can you confirm your name and date of birth please my name is love pristing and my date of birth is 12 december 1999 What course in modules you are going to study? My course name is MSc International Business and Management and I am going to study eight different modules in this course like marketing planning and strategy strategic management um, op management um, business economics uh, globalization and uh, contemporary issue in international business and uh, principle and presence in international business cross cultural management and the last one is msc dissertation so these are the modules which i am going to study in the uh, at the university of bradford so what is your favorite subject and why um as my favorite subject is uh, business economics because in this i will know how to uh, how, it will help me to learn about business and economics so uh, this will help me in my uh, this course will help me a lot in my future business uh, so i will manage how to uh, i will this will help me in my uh, economics of my business so why did you choose this course i chose msc international business and management because uh, i have uh, studied economics in uh, Uh, my previous education like bachelor of arts so in economics i have studied uh, sales marketing and finance related concepts uh, so i thought uh, that is not enough for me as per my future future goal so that's why i took this course at the university of bradford and uh, i uh, this course will help me to learn about business deeply after completion of this course i will get a good job in my country because there is a lot of scope in this field in my country how does this course relate to your previous studies as i told you earlier i have studied economics in my bachelor of arts so in economics i have studied sales finance market related concepts so with this this course is related to my previous education did you had any breaks between your studies no i just uh, done my course this year right how long does your course last the duration of my course is 15 months only how is your course assessed career counseling career progression cv review job finding techniques in the uk one to one session these are the few perks you will receive when you join my youtube channel as a member getting membership of my youtube channel is a straightforward process next to the subscribe button on any of my youtube channel video click the join button there and select the one to one session and pay by the direct debit or by paypal post your membership you will receive a one to one session meeting invite at your convenience my msc international business and management course is assessed by a mixture of written examinations uh, assessed course work uh, uh, team uh, team work uh, group discussions and uh, uh, multimedia presentations why do you want to study at this university 
And the University of Bradford is one of the biggest and highly respected university in the UK. This is the 40th university, which is very old. And uh, the biggest thing which I liked about this university, uh, this university provide a good environment to the learners so they can concentrate properly. And uh, this university also provide a range of courses to the learners. And uh, the staff member who are also very friendly and all the needy resources this university have for the students like the library for entertainment uh, cinema and uh, some other things as well uh, if we will talk about the ranking of this university the rank of this university is 601 in the world ranking uh, in uk the rank of this university is 89 so uh, i also read a lot of uh, reviews on the study portal of on the website of the university so student gave 4.2 stars and uh, you know this this university uh, got his rank 601 this year and the last year his rank was 801 so this university becoming better day by day so these are the reasons i chose this university for my higher education what university campus will you be studying at i will be studying at city campus did you research other universities Yes, when I decided to uh, do study in the UK, then I searched other universities as well, uh, like Kingston University and University of Bedfordshire. So, uh, if we will talk about the Kingston University, the rank of that university is 601, which is similar to the University of Bradford. And I also uh, searched about the University of Bedfordshire. Uh, that university is... Uh, uh, rank 801 and uh, that is a little bit low uh, as compared to University of Bradford and I also read um, a lot of reviews of uh, that universities and I chose MSc I chose uh, University of Bradford because uh, I was interesting interested in the modules of University of Bradford and that university you know in London so London is a little bit more expensive as compared to Bradford city so uh, these are the reasons why I chose this university for my higher education how much is your course tuition fee? The tuition fees of my course is £17,682. Why do you wish to study in the UK rather than in your home country? Yes, definitely. I saw some well-known institutes in my country. But, you know, it's very hard to get admission because of less seats and lots of applications. Um, um, you know, Indian education system mostly... Uh, mainly focus only on theoretical education as compared to practical. So when students pass their exam, they forget everything which they have studied in their previous education due to a less practical work. The main thing which I liked uh, a lot to study in the UK, that is the duration of my course. The duration of my course is only 15 months, uh, whereas in, in my country, the duration of my course is uh, two years. So, and the UK provide up-to-date uh, education to the international students and uh, universities are worldwide recognized. So, uh, UK is a multicultural uh, country as well. So, I will learn a different kind of culture while my education. And uh, that's it. I chose UK as compared to my country. What are your post-study plans? After after completion of my education, I will come back to my home country as my parents are in India. So I will, after coming back uh, my own home country, um, I will apply in multinational company. So um, forget a good job and uh, make my future bright. Have you searched any companies that that can employ you after completion of your studies? Yeah. Yes, a lot of companies uh, who um, will employ me like uh, Tata and Reliance. So uh, there is a lot of uh, jobs which uh, I will do after completion of my course. The jobs are such like business analytic manager, risk manage, uh, supply chain management director, risk management director, risk development manager. So these are the jobs which I will do after completion of my course and um, get a good salary from these jobs. Where you will be staying in the UK? After getting my visa, I will definitely stay in the university recommended accommodation, the Green. Uh, so how far is the university from your intended accommodation? It's only five minutes, minutes walk from the University of Bradford Union.
So who is financing your study in the UK? My father is sponsoring me for my higher education in the UK. So what is the profession of your financial sponsor? My father is a, a farmer and he has uh, more than 28 acres of land where he grow uh, rice, uh, sugarcane and wheat and his annual income is uh, 14 to 15 lakh rupees. So they gave me all sufficient funds to support me for my higher education in the UK. Would you be able to pay your tuition fee in one full amount? Yes, definitely I am able to pay full fee in one, one full amount. Do you know how much your accommodation will cost in the UK? Yes, I searched uh, also about the accommodation cost on the website of the university. So it will cost 130 to 175 pounds per week. Uh, it depends on the room which I will select. Do you know whether you are entitled to work in the UK during your study? Yes, I know I'm I am able to do uh, work while my education like 20 hours per week, 40 hours per fortnight and 75 hours per month. How reliant are you on being able to work when you are in the UK? I would not be uh, working in the UK while my education like during my course. Uh, and after my course, I will come back to my home country and uh, I have enough funds to support my education in the UK. Uh, thank you very much. That's all I have to ask from yourself. Is there any questions for me? No, sir. Uh, just tell me how is my speaking and how are my answer? Uh, thank you very much, Love Preeth. I mean, that was really good. Actually, you are fluent. Your English is good. Um, in fact, yeah, that's that's what it needs for, for this course, actually, for business uh, courses. So you need a bit of more fluency. I can see yeah, clearly um, you, you are a lot more mature in, in terms of your yeah, responding. And you, you got the fluency there. That That's the main thing, actually. In terms of your research as well, that's that's pretty good as well. So you research about the modules. Modules will be a bit more sort of discussion point, basically. So there's, there's mainly two points. One is about your course and one is about your financing, basically. You need to just concentrate. There will be counter questions on these ones as well in the actual interview. I didn't went into the details, like, I mean, which one is your favorite modules and why did you choose them? There will be similar sort of questions. So you need to be mentally prepare for those, I mean, to answer. So make sure you have a few of these ones here, yeah, prepare for the counter questions. And uh, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, you you will do really well, actually, uh, whatever, yeah, I, I, I'll listen to you, your, your words. I mean, that they were pretty much there. I think a few more practices, I mean, similar answers and uh, just add a bit, bit more value there. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, you, you will tick off all the boxes. I, I can't add much there. I would say just concentrate more on your modules, uh, your course modules, and a bit of financing, basically. As I, I'm pretty certain there will be counter questions there. So as long as you are prepared for those, um, those sort of questions, I'm sure you will do really well. And I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you, sir. So uh, can I pass the... Uh, final interview. Uh, uh, certainly, can certainly, cer certainly, I can, I can see. Yeah, you can easily. I mean, the way you answered now uh, to me, uh, I, I will give you a pass for sure. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. There was there was no flaws there. I mean, whatever I listen yeah to to your to your responses, so I would definitely give you a pass. Okay, thank you, sir. And I wish you day. the very best of luck and hope to see you uh, someday here in the UK. So thank you very much. Yes, definitely, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm good. And you? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you very much. Uh, so before we get a bit formal, I, I suppose, I mean, you already watch a few videos actually about these ones. So we will get a bit formal. I will ask all the questions. But before that, yeah, just give me a bit of a brief about yourself. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? And what's the intention actually when you are joining in here, the UK? Yes, my name is Love Singh and I am from Punjab in Patiala city. Mm -hmm. So I applied in uh, University of Bradford for MSc International Business and Management course. So, and my uh, course will start from the January intake. So have you already arranged the case interview or are you still waiting? 
No, sir. I am just preparing for my my CAS interview. Okay, good to know that. So this is obviously, I mean, the drill for the case, uh, the actual case interview. So I'll give you opportunity how yes. to answer your questions. Uh, also, I'll provide you some feedback at the back end as well. So uh, after, I mean, going through the uh, the session, uh, if if I feel there's any deficiency, anything, so I can add value as well, so I can provide you that feedback. Also, this is a recorded session as well, so I'll upload to my YouTube channel as well, so you can watch and revise your answers there as well, and see if you can add value there as well. So I suppose, I mean, you can hear my voice and we can make it a bit formal if that's okay. Yes, sir. Everything is okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Lovepreet, for joining in.